Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. So in this video, we are going to be looking at part 2 of indices, which involves the zero exponent law by Matt Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good, hashtag dark and lovely, underscore, walk by faith and not by sight. So, let's look at the law. What does the law state? The zero exponent law states that anything raised to the power 0 equals to 1. Okay? So let's look at some examples. So how about a raised to the power 0? It's also equal to 1. Okay? What if it's not a letter and it's a number like, for example, 5 raised to the power 0? It's also equal to 1. Okay? So how about when you have 5? raised to the power 2 divided by 5 raised to the power 2. What's it equal to? Now remember from the previous video, which if you didn't watch, I will be putting down a link down below in the description, that now that we know or we see a division sign here, we can't just start with the zero exponent law. We have to deal with the division law first. Now, what does the division law of indices state? It states that if the bases are the same, then we will subtract the exponents. Okay? So, in this case, the bases are the same. So, what are the exponents? They are 2. So, what is 2 minus 2? It's equals to 0. So, our base stays the same, but our new exponent becomes 0. Okay? So, now, here, we can involve the zero exponent law. So what is 5 raised to the power 0? It's equals to 1. And that is our final answer. Okay? Let's look at this example. Now what if everything in the bracket is raised to the power 0? So, first of all, again from the previous video, First here, we need to carry out the power law, okay? So you can check it out in the previous video, which is the part 1 of indices, which will be down in the description below. So the power law states that you need to multiply this exponent outside of the brackets with everything, or let me say with everything that is inside the brackets exponent, okay? So now, when you look at the 7 and the b, they don't have exponents written on top of them. But that means that their exponents for each is 1. Okay? So let's start with the 7. What is 0 multiplied by 7's exponent, which is 1? 0 times 1 equals to 0. So we'll have 7 raised to the power 0. What about for b? 0 multiplied by 1, which is the exponent for b as well, will also be 0. So we'll also have a b raised to the power 0. Now from here, we can apply which law now? The zero exponent law. So what is 7 raised to the power 0? According to this law, it will give us a 1. Okay? Now remember guys, this 7b inside the bracket is like you are, is like you are saying 7 multiplied by b. Okay? So now when you come in, carry out the zero exponent law on this one, which is b. When you say b raised to the power zero, it will also give you one. But you cannot just write one here, because now it will look like 11, okay? So you write one, but you also put a multiplication sign in between it, so that it cannot look like a 11, okay? So what is one times one? One times one equals to one. And that is our final answer which actually proves the law is actually right. Because everything in the bracket was raised to the power 0, and it gave us the answer of 1. Okay? Let's look at another example. Now, what about if you have, like, for example, 5 as a number and b, but only the b is raised to the power 0, and the 5 is not raised to anything. What will the answer be? First of all, since the 5 is not raised to anything, let's just write the 5 in the answer part. 
Now the b is raised to the power 0. And when, once we look at the 0 exponent law, it says anything raised to the power 0 is 1. So this b raised to the power 0 is 1. Now we cannot just write 1 here, remember, because it will look like 51. Okay? Because 5b is the same as you are saying 5 multiplied by b. We will say 5 multiplied by 1. Okay? So what is 5 multiplied by 1? It's equals to 5. And that is our final answer for that question. Let's look at another example. How about when you have 5b not raised to anything and have a bracket with everything inside it raised to the power 0? When you look at this question, it's actually the same as the previous one. 5b can be related with a 5 and this b which is raised to the power 0 can be related with 3c inside the brackets. So let's explain it out. So since 5b is not raised to anything, we can just write it at our answer part for now. Now when you look at everything in the bracket, here we carry out the power law which states that we should multiply the exponents of everything inside the bracket with the exponent of like the exponent outside the bracket. So what are the exponents for 3 and c? The exponent for 3 is 1 as well as for c is also 1 because there is no exponents written. So what is 0 multiplied by 1 to give us 3 raised to the power 0? What, what about when you say 0 multiplied by 1 again for c? It will also give us c raised to the power 0. Okay? Now we bring down the 5b the same way it is. And then inside the bracket, we carry out the zero exponent law. So what is 3 raised to the power 0? It will give us 1. But remember now when we look at c raised to the power 0, will also give us 1. But we, can, we cannot write 1 and 1 because it will look like 11. We put a multiplication sign in between the 3 and the c's answer. Okay? 3 raised to the power 0 and the c raised to the power 0, there are answers. In between them, we put a multiplication sign. Now, what is 1 multiplied by 1? Remember to bring down your 5p. And then 1 multiplied by 1 equals to 1. Okay? So from here, you multiply your 5b with that 1, which in the end will give you a 5p still, which is our final answer. Now, that's why I was saying these two questions are actually just the same. Because remember, this 5 was not raised to anything. And it became our answer. And the b that was raised to 0 became a 1. So it's the same here. The 5b was not raised to anything. And it became our answer. While everything that was raised to the power 0 became a 1. Okay? Let's look at another example. Now, how about when you have... 4 raised to the power 0 multiplied by 4 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 4 raised to the power 3. Now from the previous video again, we have learned about the multiplication law. Now what does the multiplication law state? The multiplication law states that if your bases are the same, you add the exponents. So what are our exponents here? Remember not just to start because you see a 4 raised to the power 0 and then you decide this is 1. No. Carry out the multiplication law. Now the multiplication law states that if the bases are the same, which they are in this case, you add our exponents. So our exponents are 0, 2 and 3. Okay? So once you add them, they will become 4 raised to the power 5. Okay? Because 0 plus 2 plus 3 is 5. Now what is 4 raised to the power 5? It's equals to 1024 or 1024. And that is our final answer. Okay? So, thank you all for watching. Please do like, subscribe, turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind. 
Cheers.